Hello and welcome to another Popper video. The last time I played this deck, this is Tron Eggs. And it's really fun to play. I think it's super powerful and well positioned. But there's one problem. If you want to play it in paper, you may go to time and rounds. The deck has just tons of stuff going on. You're tracking mana all over the place. You just keep doing things. It's a late game deck. You want to be going to turn 15 every single game. And that is not something that's going to be able to help you win your matches. So what should we play instead? Originally, people were playing Altertron. Uh, but what I did was I took this list that didn't have the sort of egg's backbone and I made Hybrid Tron. So here I'm playing the Ashnaut's Alter combo, which is sacrifice a creature, add two mana, combined with Mirror Retriever, which costs two mana, and when it dies, you return another target artifact card from your graveyard to hand. So two Mirror Retrievers, one being in the graveyard, one on the battlefield, you sacrifice one, you get the other, you do it over and over and over and over. That's an infinite loop by itself. Once you have that infinite loop, you can make infinite storm, make infinite life with weather the storm. You can also make infinite golems with golem foundry because it says whenever you cast an artifact spell, you put a charge counter on golem foundry and you can remove three counters to make a 3-3 go colorless golem artifact creature token. So you have the altar, you have the mirror retrievers, you have Golem Foundry, that means you have infinite power on the table. So technically, you also have infinite colorless mana. So how are we going to use that infinite colorless mana? We have makeshift munitions. You have infinite creatures, so you just take some number of the creatures and sacrifice them to altar to make some number of mana, and the other ones go straight to your opponent's face. So you have an instant win. This means that when you play in paper, you'll be able to not go to time and rounds, and you'll simply assemble the combo and say, oops, I win. I like that. The problem here is that in Magic Online, you can't just say, oops, I win. You have to click, 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 click. Things are happening very quickly. And uh, we're going to try to make it work so you can see how the deck operates. And we'll see if we can uh, score some wins in MTGO. So... The thing that I'm doing differently than most other uh, Tron players were doing before is I have this, uh, what I'm calling the Eggs Package, which is some number of teachings combined with Conjurer's Bobble and Frantic Salvage. And Bobbles say, put artifact, put up to one target card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library and draw a card. So this trades for a card in your graveyard to put that on the bottom of your deck. Now in Eggstron, we continue to loop at the very end and we mill our opponent out with Jace's Erasure. But here this just rebuys things that we want to get back and makes us less weak to Relic. Because without getting your graveyard out of your graveyard back into your deck, if someone relics you, you're just dead. And Frantic Salvage can get any number of tar target artifact cards from your graveyard on top of your library and you draw a card. So you're teaching for Salvage, you get back all your stuff. It's pretty sweet. And then we have the Weather the Storm package. And I think that I'm actually going down to just one teachings here because I'm focusing on the early game. Popper's fast. I want to just do stuff as fast as possible. And then if I get to the point where I need the teachings, I have that as a backup. So I have my effectively three copies of Weather the Storm, effectively two copies of Frantic Salvage, effectively nine, nine disputes. You'll notice here I have four Deadly Dispute, four Reckoner's Bargain, I think this works here because I have four Chromatic Star, four Terrarian, four Wellspring, and four Mirror Retriever, all with which to sacrifice. So we use all of our uh, card draw here and just keep drawing and drawing and drawing. One of the weaknesses of the deck is that it starts kind of slowly because Mirror Retriever is a very slow card. Um, paying two mana, sacrifice. So the, this together would be four mana just to get a Chromatic Star, to play the Chromatic Star, to sacrifice it again. That takes a lot. So we're going to uh, just use crop rotation here to get Tron as fast as possible so that we are not quite so slow in the early game. In, in the sideboard, we have six Edict effects just to really trounce terror decks and deal with bogles and stuff. So I've cut Serene Heart from the sideboard as well. We have some scatter shots for cleanup, some Nile Spell Bombs for our graveyard decks, two more Weather of the Storms, and three Fang and Marauders. So we have seven anti-burn uh, post board and we can be super fast with four two drops that make a ton of life. So that's the deck. We're going to be trying to play through a ton of matches and win some games to show you what you should play when you bring this deck to your paper play. See you in the matches. Here we are in round one. 
There's the watch wander. River. Watch wander. Okay, we don't have a second lance. We're gonna mulligan. We're on the play. And we're gonna mulligan again. Unfortunate. Mole. Two lands. Keep. Guess we just keep and put back. Hmm. Bobble. Bargain. I'm keeping the um, weather the storm in case they're on a burn deck. We need to buy time. Looks like they're on blue black terror. So we can play out the retriever here. And then next turn we can crack for black and uh, bargain the retriever and get back the star. Black. We might have a counter spell here. Let's see if we can uh, get that card. They're going to counter the uh, Reckoner's Bargain so we don't draw a card. They brainstorm. We could have just waited until end step to see if they go for. They went for a uh, brainstorm into Thought Scour, but I was kind of trying to draw into a second land. Play Bobble. Bobble back the bargain. And let's see if we can draw land. We don't, so just try to play the sphere or star. Looks like we're probably going to be losing this game. Mental note. Okay, they brainstorm after the mental note, which is strange. Maybe this drew it off of the mental note. Augur Bolus. Okay, they're setting up the Augur. Augur into Thought Scour. The Thought Scour. Looking for a land or just play out of terror. Still no terrors yet. And there it is. Guess I'm going to crack for black. We didn't draw a card. Uh, so if we draw land, if we don't, we're going to just scoop. And we draw Grotto. It's pretty decent. Golem Founder is pretty good. But. Hmm. I'm going to bottom it anyway. We're still in the game, it looks like. If we can draw into our t Tron mana, we'll be very well off. Because we can always weather the storm to get back. Okay, deep analysis. So they're quite far ahead on cards now. Darn. Uh, so let's try sacrificing for black green. Wellspring. Let's play the Wellspring because this plays around Spell Pierce, so they're not incentivized to cast the Spell Pierce right now. And then we can just play the Mirror Retriever. And now we have like infinite blockers, sort of. Doesn't play around Force Spike, of course. They thought this guy themselves. Mill snuff out an Aquifer. Another Augur of Bolas. So this deck is going to be pretty good against our uh, Chainer's Edict plan. They mill some more cards. Deep Analysis and Mental Note. They snuff, we get back our Retriever. So they're going to slam in for seven. They play an angler. So next turn they have 12. Mm -hmm. We whiffed on land. We mold too hard and whiffed on lands. Let's see if we draw into a dispute. No. So let's play bobble. Get back to Bobble. Looking for lands. Uh, Bobble. Get back to Bobble. Tower. We can play this and then weather the storm, but I think we're just going to go to the next game. We can save our precious time. Darn. So my plan is to just 
uh, edict them out. And I don't really need to munitions. Don't need this right, this uh, teachings. Salvage is probably good late game. I don't think crop rotation is going to be good here because they are going to have spell pierce and stuff to stop it. But we could try to play around all the spell pierces. They do like to do like in game stuff. I know that Golem Foundry is the best plan against them. I think I'm going to completely cut the altar plan. All right, let's go. Tower mine, bobble bargain. We're gonna keep. Just start start out slow here. You can bobble and then play a swamp and sacrifice the bobble, but that's not the greatest. See if we can draw into something. Wellspring. I like that. Play the Wellspring. Chainer's Edict, okay. So hopefully they will um, play out their first creature and then just not really pay that much attention and we just sneak a Chainer's Edict into it. We're gonna yield until end step to make it look like we're passing. They brainstorm. Let's see if they run the Thought Scour. Out. And they do. Okay, so they just consider we're going to bargain this wellspring. Oops. And then just pass. And now we have our Tron. I love it. So Tron's online. And we can use Expedition Map for Grotto or for the Cycle Land. They play out their Nile Spell Bomb. Not that concerned. And they kind of have to use it for our edicts and stuff. Power Plant. Map. Just gonna map for the cove or the grotto. Skyland. Well, we we only really need black here, right? I'm just gonna get this cycle. Another tower. play consider, they play brainstorm. All right. We do have to win two games in a row here. Plays a terror. Okay. Plays a terror. Let's go ahead and edict you. And let's bobble back the edict. No. So there are two, one threat down. Play mirror retriever. Chainer's edict. Let's bobble back the bargain. Hmm. I think we'll wait. I think we'll wait. Let's see. So if we. If we bargain the Mirror Retriever right now, we're out of Mirror Retriever. They don't get value of the Spell Bomb, though, and then we can actually bobble the Mirror Retriever back. Still draw two. We're going to lose the... Let me back to Wellspring. We'll lose the bargain. Oh, they're just going to let me draw. Okay. It's a surprise. So let's play Wellspring into Terrarion. Two threats down. They only have six more. <laughs> they're getting a deep analysis. Looks like they're trying to be uh, careful with the spell bomb and only get something that's actually getting me value. Tower. Let's. Hmm. Play out this Terrarion. Just gonna play around counterspell for a little bit. Brainstorm. Okay. 
cast mental note. So let's let's bargain our wellspring. Draw two, and then another one. Looks like they're gonna dispel me. Okay. Now we can, let's see, I'm going to bobble the bargain, draw another bobble, green, black I guess, we draw into a Diabolic Edict, nice, let's just cast Weather the Storm and pass. Alrighty. So at some point they're going to have to use the spell bomb to get rid of the mirror retrievers or something. I'm going to try to put the conjurer's bubble back on the battlefield. Brainstorm, looking for a threat. If they if they play a threat, I'm going to uh, draw into the chainer's edict. I think. Try to play that. They mill two lands. Plays Angler, I guess. Okay, they're going to hold up Counterspell. Edict. Counterspell. So we're going to go Black Black. Edict you again. <laughs> okay. Play Bobble. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to Bobble back the Bobble. We draw a Chainer's Edict. It's nice. So let's just deadly dispute this expedition map, actually. Draw some cards. And then I guess play out this other ball and pass. We're trying to get to the point where we can get our Golem Founders down and then start actually uh, winning the game. But right now we're trying to make them not win. Thoughts scour themselves. Spell Pierce Land. Plays another Angler. So we have one. Oh, they, they got rid of some. One, two, three, four. So that's the fourth threat. We only have to get through eight. <laughs> Play Wellspring. Play this bobble. Go ahead and try casting Chainer's Edict. Counterspell. All right. Let's deadly dispute this Wellspring. And we're looking for uh, some more black sources, basically. Okay, that's going to resolve. Golden Foundry, hello. Play the Golden Foundry. Play Star. So they could have Spell Pierce here. They're going to cast Snuff Out. Okay. So we're going to get back the Mirror Dreamer. So bobble back retriever. So we're gonna lose all of our bobbles this way, but that's gonna be fine. Bobble back the other retriever. Okay. So they don't get to draw a card. We 
and we have yet another edict in hand. Change our edict view. <laughs> and then play mirror retriever. And then play Wind of the Storm. Is that enough? It was enough. All right. We have a very active plan. Okay, so we still have the eventual not mill out and die plan here, but mostly we we're just trying to change our seat them into the ground. So I wonder if I would want to hmm, cut a weather the storm. Is that crazy? So I could cut a weather the storm for an astronaut's altar and then have more like have the combo, but that doesn't actually help me get to the combo, so I think I'm going to keep the, we the weather of the storm in. You can see there that the deck plays around Graveyard Hate very well. Okay, we have land, map. So if they don't leave up oh, blue, and they didn't, we can just get turn 3 Tron. And then we are seriously off to the races. Go ahead and play tower, grab our power plant. They mill. We get the power plant and then we're gonna go tower. Oops, I grabbed the power plant, but that's that's correct. But we play power plant, we play terrarion cycle. The next turn we can do a bunch of deadly disputey things. We could also just, if they played no tap, they just play tap lands here. So we could play Terrarion and dispute it immediately. We're going to discard this tower, extra tower here. So we're ahead on cards, and we have double edict. We play terror. No, we play brainstorm. Okay, so just waiting to see what they do. Do they have another land drop? Are they just gonna play the terror? Plays mental note. Now they're gonna—they have to play a creature at this point. Okay, so they're playing angler. No. Terror. No? Spell bomb. Okay. Land. Play a wellspring. We're gonna just cycle, I think. Okay, we have Grotto. We have Edicts for their turn, and then we have Edicts for our turn. What do you got? Deep analysis. Okay. So I'm just making land drops, getting my mana on the table, playing Crystal Grotto maybe next turn, and then on the end of their turn maybe playing our uh, Deadly Dispute or something. Play Grotto, see what we see. Your Retriever, I'll keep that. And I'll pass. They continue milling themselves. They're at 30 cards. 29 cards now. Plays a terror. Okay. So they must be holding a bunch of counter spells now. They're gonna play another they're gonna play an angler. Okay. Then they're gonna play an angler. <laughs> then they're gonna play another angler. Okay, so what we could do is go for the Deadly Dispute, and then they will maybe respond. Let's see if they bite the bait here. Alright, they're not going to do it. Black will Edict you. Oh, 
Okay, so that resolves. Do we want to cast Weather the Storm now? Five, storm 5, next turn we have 1, 2, 3. So we can cast 2 Edicts. I think I probably want to wait on it. Because I want to be able to double cast and change Edict. Edict. Counter spell. Okay. Land. Black. Chainer's Edict. Chainer's Edict. <laughs> okay. We we uh we accomplished our goals. So now I think I'm going to play Terrarion into Bobble. Either one of these could get spell pierced and it's not that big of a deal. Because if I were them, I would crack to get rid of that edict. Yep. So we've we've accomplished getting rid of three of their threats. Another spell bomb enters the table and we win the match. Yeah. <laughs> Overpowered Way too many edicts wins the day. Let's see you in the next match. Okay, match two are versus Fink64. Maybe John Finkel? I don't know. They're milling to six. So if I think it is John Finkel, I don't know what they're on. Maybe a. Maybe Burn Deck? Burn Deck? This is gonna be so exciting. Okay, Epicure. We missed the land, so we're going to play Chromatic Star, and then we're going to crack it, and then play Bobble and crack the Bobble, because we have a 78% chance of hitting our second land now. Log War Marshal, so it's a go wide burn deck. Green. Mine. So we're going to play the map. Play the map. Play the Terrarion. And then we can next turn map for power plant and hold up weather storm. They refuse to pay. They have three creatures. Three one ones. I'm glad I have the weather storm in the main. Um, not really sure if I'm gonna be able to get a big enough weather to win the game here. And it'll be interesting to see if they have bushwhackers and stuff. I'm glad that we uh, were able to get that second land there. Playing the percentages. They rebirth. Looks like they might have a uh, a bushwhacker next turn. Okay, we did not draw the power plant, so we have to map for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're going to put us to 10. If they have a Galvanic Blast. So if they have a Bushwhacker, what happens? Six. Okay. Seven. Fourteen. We go to six. Foundry. Bobble. Bobble back, the weather. Hmm. I think we're just dead here. We can't get anything going. We can only block one creature, so we'll see you in the next game. Let's see. Just no colored sources. They're too fast and they're on the play. So now we're going to bring in the weathers and the fangrins. We're going to cut the munitions and this and let's see. We need the crop rotations. They could play a relic plan. They don't actually even know what I'm up to though. Hmm. Usually munitions is, well, scattershot might be good. 
Over over your munitions. Hmm. I'm wondering if I want to keep the alders in for the for the uh, infinite life. Just go like this. That should be right. That should be fine, right? Yeah, and then I'll cut a wellspring because it's slow. Cut the scatter. Cut a bargain. Darn, I'm having trouble here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Cut, cut the salvage, I guess. Just uh, see what happens here. Okay, we have a scatter shot. I'm gonna keep. Let's grotto. See what's on top. Definitely want that. Play map. Pass. All right. Tower. Crack. Mine. Your turn. Now we're going to just play Chromatic Star and then take it slow. Swift Spear. Burn. We get donked. Okay. Grotto or mine. Mine's probably better. Mine is a star. Pass. So we're getting really beat up by this uh, Swiss Sphere quite quickly. Epicure puts us a 12. All right. We're going to take another two. Go to 10. Okay. We find Tron. So let's see. Play star. Crack for green. Play terrarion. Crack for red. There's a thing in Marauder. So. Five mana. I can weather the storm and then attempt to kill all their creatures. They'll have to cast a burn spell. Or I can scatter shot, shoot here and here, and then they cast a burn spell and then I cast weather. It's probably more important to get the weather the storm off. Same target. And here. So this incentivizes them to cast a spell, and then we can weather the storm so that uh, negates the spell. They see it coming, though. It's very obvious. <laughs> Next turn, we have Fang and Marauder into Crack Terrarion, plus Crystal Grotto. Okay. They're going to let it die. They Galvanic Blast me. Uh, so... Puts me to six. They only have two cards in hand. They would have to have. Uh, if they have Bolt plus Fire Blast, I'd be in a bad spot here. This is definitely not going to die. So I'm trying to think about if I want to. I'm just going to cast Weather the Storm. All right, that's fine. We did what we wanted to do. Got the burn spell out of their hand, so now they can't pump the Swiss Sphere, so we saved one damage that way. Plus we got the Weather of the Storm, uh, we cracked that. They go to three cards in hand. Play Synthesizer. We're just going to have six because we have nothing. They play Star. One card in hand. Gets in for four. Donk. Mog War Marshal. So we're going to go play our Fang and Marauder. Play Bobble. Bobble back a Weather the Storm. Always yes, always yes, always yield. And then we'll play our Mine. Crack this. Black, green. Not that it matters. I'm not planning on doing anything with it. And I'll play this Mirror Retriever. And say go. If they actually attack, I'll block with the Mirror Retriever and get back a... Probably a map? 
because map can get the land out of my deck. All right, we got there. Let's go. So the reason I played the altar was for the infinite life combo. So we can make infinite storm, infinite life, infinite life off this. Golden Foundry doesn't matter in the end. Scattershot. We can get Scattershot back with Bobble, but that's not going to win the game eventually, so is Munitions better? Maybe we just don't even worry about that. We just eventually get them. Although we're probably going need to a, need a way to win, right? Darn. So let's put the, the Foundry back in and get rid of this Icker Wellspring. Can we do it again? Yikes. So... We're on the draw. Turn one star. I'm gonna keep, because we have Deadly Dispute and star. We just need one more land. We don't have a Weather of the Storm. We don't have a second land. And they have a turn one Swifty. But now we have a second land. Play star. So we'll probably go star bobble. Pull those a rebirth immediately. Wow. Galblast for two. Just pushing damage. Alright. Land go. Chromatic Star. I'm doing yield until next end step so he does stuff. <laughs> Attacks. Green. Cast Weather. Gain a little bit of life. Play Bobble. Get back the weather. Look for a land. Play a Bobble. Looking for a land. Sketchy. Darn. So we whiffed. That's going to spell Doom. Well, we could still get there if we draw into the mine, but whiffing on lands there is the thing that's going to kill us. They only have, like, probably two turn clock here. Shoots me for two. I'm going to take five. Shoots me for two again. I'm going to take six. And I'm going to go to five. Grenades me, and we're dead. Okay. See you in the next round. Okay, we are on the draw. Round three versus Chemist, who normally plays Cowgate. And that means we have lots of time. So we're just going to play Tower into Terrarion. Then we'll play Wellspring. They might have a Spell Pierce. I mean, we're going to try to use our mana. But they feel... So, Spell Pierce there means I might be able to resolve Golem Foundry. So it's, I think, a fine fine spot. We could have played Terrarion Bobble, but then we were missing triggers for the Foundry. They play the Hawk. And we have our sneaky Foundry that they didn't save their Spell Pierce for. But they were also trying to use all their mana. Ooh, hmm... Guess we play the Foundry. Pass. Next turn, map, crack map. <sighs> Looks like they might have uh, a counter spell up. They do. So we're going to play Bargain, I guess? Hmm. Let's play Bobble. And then cycle it. Draw. Wow, we drew into the drawn anyway. Nice. Play map. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh, just drawing Tron. One, two, three, Tron. Okay, so I like bringing in the front. Oh, hmm. 
as I say, I like bringing the thing in Marauders here because it uh, is much better against Basilisk Skate because it draws a ton of ton of it gains a ton of life. Whereas Weather the Storm's not quite as good in that spot. We don't necessarily need the crop rotations, so I'm going to cut those. That should be fine. Hmm. We're going to leave the one Weather the Storm in the deck so we can teachings for it. Keep. We have parts of the combo <laughs> and lands. Grotto. See if we draw into a mine or a tower. Well, keep that. Play map. They go land, go. And we go land. Also go. <laughs> we'll see if they tap out. We're going to grab our mine. Hmm, mine. Play a Terrarion. So this can't get spell pierced. They're gonna spell Sir Sprite? Wow, that's fancy. Play Mirror Retriever. Did not see it coming. So fancy. But can they keep bouncing it? Uh, I don't understand. I don't know. It's just a, a nice little 1-1 one -one that you can attack with. Do you have another one? Star? Red? Munitions? Now they could have any number of things here. Spell piercer. Another spell sir sprite. Wild. And they're playing the most fancy art, of course. Fancy. You know this only comes in foil on Magic Online? It's true. So let's attempt to resolve an altar, I guess. We just keep we just keep curving out into their spell setter sprites. If they play another one, <laughs> they didn't. Okay, thank you. Thank you for not playing another one. Get the map. Play the map. Map does not resolve. Map, but map does resolve. Okay, it's bobble. Bobble, get back munitions. Do we have a land? Power plant. Okay. And uh, it seems they don't have counter spells in their hand right now. I'm gonna pass. And what is their play? Oh, dust, dust. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, they're going after me here. So let's play Foundry, I guess. They could still have counter spells, given that they have the dust, dust. <laughs> Gets in. Plays a hawk. If what two hawks left? No, we didn't know that they didn't have any hawks in their hand. So we just ran into spell search sprites. Jeez, they might cut their spell pierces for the spell search sprites. To do play this. We're looking at four power on the table. So if they have a basilisk gate, it'll be. 8 power. Play Terrarion. Pass. And now we can um, Teachings for Crop and then Crop for Tron. But they'd have to be tapped out for that to be an effective strategy. There's the Basilisk Gate. Squadron Hawk. They don't tap out, okay. So we're dead next turn. Darn. Do 
attempt a deadly dispute, I guess. Power plant. So we have to draw into tower, though. Yeah. Okay, they got me with all their sprites. We're going to try to be anti-sprite now. Scattershot and munitions. Oh, good thing I didn't teach for crop. <laughs> Alright, land map. Keep. Most of five, looking for those Felser sprites. Well, at least they can only have a couple in their hand after that. So let's play land... Okay, perfect. Pass. We didn't have turn three Tron because we were trying to use our scry value. Get the tower. And we're passing. Okay, holding up the spell search sprite? No, not this turn. But they have Vasilisk Gate. So they have quite a they have a lot of power. We have Terrarion into Wellspring. And we draw Ashnot's Altar. Okay. We play a land. I mean play another creature? No. Holding up a spell search sprite, I guess. So we have infinite storm now. Ch -ch -ch mine. So let's crack this for black green. Play altar. Play mirror retriever. Crack. Get back. Terrarion. Okay, this is going to be annoying. Let's see how much storm we should make. Just move this over here. And the opponent was very kind and uh, has scooped my infinite weather the storm. Thank you very much. See you in the next round. So, if we had a cantrip, this would be okay. I think they were on Coggy or some... They were on Pestilence last time I saw them. Mm, I'm afraid I'm not going to draw into things. I'm going to mulligan. Be a little bit disciplined. We find Expedition Map, Crop Rotation. I think I'm going to keep now. Get rid of Crop. We can land map, turn two map for whatever, turn three mirror retriever, bargain the retriever. It looks like they're on gates, red. So they probably are on their, on their Mardu, Pestilence, whatever. So let's go to Mardu gates list. Mind map. Sorry. Okay, red, white, keep gate. Wellspring. So this is the Mardu Gates Golden Foundry. Alright, what we're going to want to do is grab our power plant and then next turn play Golden Foundry because that is going to win the game. We want to get out ahead of all of our artifacts that we're going to play. Play, play, play as Core Skyfisher and pick up Icker Wellspring. Do they have any other lands? They do have a heap gate. So, they're going to get in for two next turn. Power plant. Play golem foundry. This opponent uh, put me to the test the last time I faced them. Plays a wellspring. Uh, 
I think we can just play the Mirror Retriever and then sacrifice it for getting the Expedition map back, and then we can next turn play map into tower, and then we're golden. Play Well of Spring into Bargain again. All right, so we don't have the opportunity to play the Wellspring because they have decided to kill my... Oh, we have a map anyway. Yay! Very nice. Map. Tower. Play that. Go ahead and play the Wellspring. And the Terrarion. Pass. So this gate stack is going to be able to make a bunch of lifeless sacred cat. Are they going to attack? Just Skyfisher. That's fair. We will respond by attacking. Pays two mana. Plays a, a Wellspring. Okay, Wellspring enters the table. And then they draw a card. And then they play a Hawk, I guess. The Skyfisher. Pick up the Wellspring. Yeah. And then we make a Golem. And then we attack with the Golem. Then we're going to go ahead and bargain the Wellspring, draw a bunch of cards. We'll play another Golem Foundry since we can. Perfect. Things are looking up. Play Tower. Play Mirror Retriever. And then we're going to always yes the other Golem Foundry. And then we will crack this for black. And we're going to bargain Mirror Retriever and get back the Wellspring. Drop so many cards, play the Wellspring. I mean, we probably should have played Star into Terrarion, actually, because we would have had two creatures, but I kind of didn't think that through. I just clicked. <laughs> I just went for the fast clicks. All right. Yield until here again. Yeah, that would have in improved our clock immensely. I don't know how many Bajuka Bogs they're playing either. Playing a nice nice art though. Old frame, time shifted one. Looks like they're gonna deadly dispute. They chain your edict. Well, one down. Are you gonna attack though? They decide to maybe not attack? Let's see. They're gonna play a spell. Plays a course guy fisher, picks up the wellspring. Picks up the Bajuka Bog. Okay. I just don't want my Terrarion and Mirror Retriever coming back. Not a problem. We have three things that we can sacrifice. Okay, they just attack for six. We'll make a golem. Pass. Okay, there's another mirror retriever. Oops. I accidentally clicked pass on my turn. Hopefully I don't pass my turn. Uh, please don't pass. Did I turn it off? I did turn it off. Okay. So, Terrarion. Star. Play Bobble. Crack the star for green, I guess. For white. We can frantic salvage it if we want to. Play another star. Crack it for black. For red. Teachings. Well, we can't cast that right now. I can bobble just to draw a card. 
power plant, play tower, frantic salvage these. Put the bobble on top, play the bobble. So this is the power of the eggs type plan where we just keep like cycling through all of our stuff. Play the star. And then I'm just going to crack the star for black. And then play the other star and not crack it. And I'm going to pass. So now we can teachings for deadly dispute and teachings for te for weather the storm in the same turn. Or we could even teachings for scatter shot and start blasting them. They don't have very much mana. All right. Opponent decides. Let's see what they decide to do. Play navigator's compass. We will yield to it. And they gain three life there at 17. We are going to have one, two, three, four, five. We have six total three threes. Looks like they're turning the, sw the bog into a s some other color. Planes. Playing maybe a three-minute inspector. Plays a glint hawk. So they're going to pick up the wellspring, I guess. They pick up the compass. They're going to play the compass again. So they go to 20. I don't know. I feel like they should have been, like, I guess they made attackers. So now we're at the point where we could, oh no, we're not playing Scattershot the main. Never mind. Never mind. We're going to Teachings for Deadly Dispute and cast Deadly Dispute and then maybe Teachings. Cast Weatherstorm. One, two, three. They're trying to just beat me down. Four. They have 10 power and we have 15 power. Five. And we're going to pass. No blocks. Actually, we have 18 power. We can make a bunch more. There's weather the storm, so we don't have the teachings for it anymore. <laughs> We're gonna go blue, black. Teachings. Deadly dispute. Deadly dispute this. Drew a bobble. So we can cast a bobble. And then we're going to cast the other bobble. We're going to get back our dispute, our bobble. Can't get rid of those. Bobble or other bobble. Play wellspring. <laughs> we're doing things. And we have altar. We can make a bunch of mana right now. Let's see. Power plant. Play altar. Let's deadly dispute this wellspring. Let's see if we draw into another retriever. Not just yet. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is attack. They're going to take 15, but they're going to gain one life, so they'll take 14. Okay. Play. Make a creature, make a creature, sacrifice a creature, play Mirror Retriever, sacrifice Mirror Retriever, get back Wellspring, play the Wellspring, I'm going to draw a card, I'm going to sacrifice a creature, we're going to crack for black here, I'm going to bargain this Wellspring, Deadly Dispute, Crop Rotation, okay, sack this, play Wellspring, so we're just chaining, 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 looking for another creature, so let's sack this one, play, uh, so this is going to be black now, 
Deadly Dispute, The Wellspring. Hmm. Uh, play Terrarion. Alter this. Black. Deadly Dispute, the Terrarion. Wow, we just did not get there yet, still? Okay. Crack, sack this one. And play this. We can actually teachings for another Deadly Dispute. Hmm. Crack this one. Uh, crack this one. Black. Teachings. Reckoner's Bargain? Okay. Black. Hmm, we can't really afford to do that. Okay, so let's crack for green here. There's another altar. So we could bargain the altar. Let's crop rotation. This. Looking for grotto. What does grotto see? Munitions. Put on top. <sighs> okay. Play this. Sacrifice. Play this. We're just doing stuff. <laughs> I'm not really winning the game, am I? <laughs> I just want to find my mirror retriever. Still have not found it. Alter. Cycle. Still no? We're close to not being uh, having any more mana. Play the bobble. Almost drew the entire deck. Bobble back the bobble. Still did not find it. Jeez. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna play. Make this. Do, do crack this. Play this. All right, we gain a bunch of life. One mirror retriever, two mirror retrievers. So we only have two left in the deck. Okay, we don't need this. Don't need crop. Don't need. What other ones can we get rid of? Mm, power plant. Get rid of mine. Mine. There's a tower here. Mine. Mine. We drew a lot of cards. So you can see how you might have a bunch of mana and then you can use it for value. So the only way that they can really win here uh, would be to pick up the Bajuga Dog and replay it. Which seems unlikely. Nope, they play Basilisk Gate. Are they going to swing in? Play compass and go to nine. Annoying. <laughs> Actually, we have frantic salvage, so we can just kill them. Probably. Just play a bunch of things and shoot them with it. Play sacred cat. I uh, just got a little bit of tunnel vision. I was having fun. They're deciding to not attack and try to use the clock. No, they're going to attack for one. Okay, fine. No, no attacks. No attacks. You have to kill me. Fine. I will. Okay, Grotto. Looking for the mirror. That's fine as a redraw. Wellspring. Okay, we draw it. We're going to play Bobble. Strange. Is that them? That's them. They're just pausing between everything. Okay, there we go. Do, do, do. Mirror Retriever. OK. 
Okay. Sack the retriever. Get back the retriever. Doink. Let's put this over here for easy. And then it won't take too long to get this. Oh darn. Get this full loop going. Retriever again. It says Satan Reagan puts a charge counter on Satan Reagan. Some lagging. We're lagging hard. Okay. I have to make. I have to have nine power. So let's go like this. Like this. My map. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't even play the <laughs> munitions yet. <laughs> munitions. Sacrifice the wellspring. And we win. All right, that was nice of them. So, don't really need the crop rotations. Pagan Marauder can come in. Gonna kind of trim on some stuff. Hmm. I always want to take out the teachings here, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's not the best plan. It was nice to be able to teachings for stuff. I can probably go one scatter, one weather, and then what is the worst card? It's probably going to be Terrarion, I'd say. Let's do it. We've opened a hand that we cannot keep whatsoever. This is much better. We have to worry about dust to dust, of course. Everybody's all about those dust to dusts. We'll probably just teachings. I mean, just put the teachings on the bottom. We don't really have the mana to pay for it yet. We could do is play Terrarion and then crack the Terrarion, play Mirror Retriever, so that if they kill the Mirror Retriever, we get the Terrarion back. Let's see what's on top. Bargain. I think we have enough of that right now. I'm looking for lands. Sad to uh, bottom a draw spell though. Definitely looking for lands. They're gonna play a relic. Okay, so our uh, get the terrarian back plan is not working. Hmm. Let's play this mirror retriever. I'm hoping that I can spike them not having a, a removal spell here, and then I can crack the Terrarion and dispute the Retriever. Dust Exiles my artifact. So we only have three Retrievers left. So we're going to black, black. Draw a card. Play mine. Tap the mine. Play the Terrarion. And dispute the Terrarion. And that worked out. Turn three, solid three lands. We can uh, exile a Terrarion. And pass. Are they going to kill my treasure token? I play Sacred Cat. Play another relic. And they play land. We have five mana. We're looking for a power plant now or a expedition map. They are very high on relics. 
Luckily, our deck is not too weak to relics. Play this, Grotto, Bobble. We're gonna bottom that. Play Foundry. We're gonna play Star. And we're gonna pass. Here we go. Sacred Cat's gonna start beating us up. We can just leave things out of the graveyard, no big deal. No extra dust to dust to hand? Okay. What are they holding? They got a 21. Sacred Cat. Another cat. And a Glint Hawk picking up, I guess, the relic. It has to be the relic. Plays the relic. Mm -hmm. So we can play Golem Foundry. Now we're uh, kind of sketched about dust to dust, but what are you going to do? Let's bargain. Try to draw some lands. Draw Wellspring. There's a tower. We can pass, and then we'll just dis exile these. On the next turn, we can play Wellspring and then Deadly Dispute it. Slowly building up some spells to be played. opponent still does not want to actually uh, crack either of the relics. They're very afraid. Gets in for four, slowly, but surely. Thank you. Donk. Now we're going to go to 20. They're going to go to 23, and we go to 16. And what are we looking for now? Still power plant. There's the map. Okay, play map. Always yes. Crack the map for a power plant. And then we exile the map. Get the power plant. Play the power plant. It's going to play Wellspring. And then since we're planning on uh, casting Deadly Dispute... Hmm. Alright, so I think I want to just cast the Deadly Dispute now. Because I'm going to have uh, some more golems here by casting the Conjure Survival, and then I would have to tap out of casting the Deadly Dispute. Dispute this. Start to build up a little mini army. They're going to exile my wellspring. We get a map. So, five. So let's go ahead and play the map and pass. This way we have nine power on the table. And they're forced to start actually getting into their, um, what's its faces? their basilisk gates in order to attack us. Otherwise, we're just going to donk them. Uh, I think... Hmm, I'm a little bit nervous about Dust to Dust at the moment, obviously. If they tap out, though, we have makeshift munitions, and we can probably take them out. Oh no. Of course, Guy Fisher picks up a relic. If we draw into another retriever and the altar, maybe we can get some stuff done. So let's upkeep crack. Oops. Well, now I turned my auto yields off, so that's a problem. <laughs> okay. Create. Create another one. And create another one. Okay, upkeep. Crack this. We're going to get tower. 
Okay, opponent. Yes. Draw. We can cycle this. Now, if we start loop, we might be able to start looping here. They exile the polluted mire. We draw a card. We're going to play Wellspring. Always yes again. Whoops. And then we're going to yield to the Wellspring again. We're going to play red. Make shift munitions. Tower. Play this other bobble. Play chromatic star. Make shift munitions is going to be our friend here. Play chromatic star. We're going to attack with everything. We're almost there. They're going to take six, really just five, and we will pass. Still putting more more creatures on the battlefield. Now they're going to have five three threes, and we can also um, sack to munitions in response to uh, dust to dust or something. And I forgot that they are attacking us, so I probably should have killed the Glint Hawk. Let's do that. Shoot this. They're going to dispute it. Okay. Fang and Marauder. I like that guy. And we can also go ahead and shoot this cat. So now, if we want to start the Mirror Retriever train going, they'll have to exile their cats. And we have a lot of power. We have, and we also have Fang and Marauder, so I'm not worried about dying anymore. But they have one, two, three mana. What are you going to do, opponent? What are you going to do? So this player actually used to play Ponza, and now they're on this deck. And even though they're uh, thinking through their turns and we have to wait for them, I'm actually just I'm ecstatic that they're not playing Ponza. Because I, I like uh, getting to do my thing. Okay. What are they going to play? A Revoke Existence? They're thinking it through. Do they want to take out the munitions or a foundry? Seems like the foundry would be the play, but not entirely sure. Kill this foundry if you want to. Sacred Cat. Okay, one, two, three. They could still play another Sacred Cat and have both relics up. They're catting. We're going to put two more golems on the table, so now we're threatening 15 damage. So we can actually just shoot the Sacred Cats and then kill them, I guess. I think we probably can. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think they are dead. Let's let's think this one through. Let's go Mirror Retriever. Get rid of star. Okay, get rid of the other star. Shoot 
shoot the cat. Sack the retriever. Retriever is going to get back Wellspring. Okay, I'm going to bobble for the mirror retriever. They allow it. So let's, I guess, bobble for the bobble. Okay. Play Mirror Retriever. So we just had to float three mana after shooting all their stuff. And that should be fine. Play Map. Play map. Yeah, they're just dead. Well, cool beans. Shoot this with the map. And we win. So we're going to be playing the next match in the wee hours of the morning tomorrow, and I'll see you there. Here we are in match five, and we have some setup cards, so I'm going to keep it. I don't know what they're on. Probably just going to lead on our Tron land into Terrarion and then turn to Mirror Retriever or something. Green. Could be almost anything. Still going to go with the Terrarion. Nest Invader, so it's Stompy. And we're looking to make a lot of life. Crop rotation's good. Just play the Wellspring and draw a card. Alright, so now next turn we have Tron. Tron into Mirror Retriever plus Altar. Turn 3 Tron. So we're just waiting on our opponent to figure out what they want to do. Okay, they're just going to go to attacks. Get them for two. And they're going to hunger the hell packet. Alright, so we take five and another hunger. Take eight. Ouch. So we crop, we get power plant, right, mine, yep, power plant, play tower, play mirror retriever. We deadly dispute the wellspring, I think. So we're going to try to leave a blocker, hoping they don't have swipe. Now we have infinite retrievers. So we can just play another retriever, and then if they don't have swipe, we're good. And then next turn, try to draw into our, uh, turn. Okay, so next turn we're just going to try to draw into a weather or something. Rancor. Okay, double block. They have to have vines to win here. And they do. Jeez. That's unreal. Okay. They just had, uh, I mean, ha I've never seen that kind of start before. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to get rid of these. Not really expecting them to have any relics or anything.
All right, so the number one way I'm going to win here is trying to make infinite life. And then after that, we're going to eventually find our golem foundry and win with it. Okay, we're on the play now. And we have turn three Tron. We also have our Fangren Marauder, so that's pretty nice. He's going to lean on to Rare. Well, I guess we have to play map, tower, then Wellspring Terrarion, and then try to uh, Fangren Marauder and do stuff after that. They can't usually beat the life gain from Fangren Marauder. That was an absolutely brutal start from them in game one. Mine. Map. Your turn. Okay. And we drew Natural Tron, so what's the best way to do this? I'll just play Terrarion. I guess they could potentially have ways to disrupt my artifacts. But it doesn't matter with it, uh, with either of these, because we be drawing cards. So I probably want to... Hmm. The thing is, we can't actually use our Fagin Marauder for life gain yet. So we, they have to really just not turn three us. Plays a Nest Invader. Okay, so now we can play Wellspring. A star. And I'm going to go ahead and crack this map for, uh, I think, a Grotto. But let's get another tower right now, just because I want the mana sources. So we can go 6 mana, crack for green-black, and then play Fang and Marauder, and then crack, crack, gain life with Reckoner's Bargain too. You can also crop rotation. So we're taking 7. To play a Pit Skulk. I'm going to think if it's better to... I don't think it's better to play out the Reckoner's Bargain right now. We have the Crystal Grotto now. I like that. Green Black. Mirror Retriever. Bang and Marauder. Bargain this Wellspring. Gain some life. So we can crop rotation the tower for another tower, play Mirror Retriever and Star, or play Star, crack it, play Mirror Retriever. We crop this now, or I can't play Altar. So. Let me get that mana tower. Play mirror, play star, and mirror retriever. That should be fine. That's enough mana for the moment. Next turn we play Grotto, we scry. Easy block. Certainly one of the easiest blocks of all time at this moment. So we're going to get back Wellspring. Some more cards. If we draw into a Dispute Effect, that draws us way more cards. Okay, they're going to go ahead and swipe. 
but we got our uh, life gain value out of it, and they lost their elephant guided creature. <laughs> Looks like they might have a hunger the hell pack again, though. No Disquarian Rangers. So we gain a bunch of life, and they are sitting on still having a bunch of things. So how much power do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't want the map. Hmm. I don't think I want it. Wellspring. Looking for more life gain. Air retriever, so... Crack for black. Deadly dispute. So we can dispute the wellspring. So I'm glad that I drew that up. Okay, so now we have infinite life by the altar. Play mirror retriever. Play chromatic star. Sacrifice the retriever. Get the retriever. So I'm not going to do this too many times. Need to uh, pop this out now and make my everything go a little bit smoother. Alright. There we go. Setting up everything for clicking is just kind of a pain. Storm 9. At what storm count do we stop? Just go another minute, maybe? Then we can chill. Storm 20, 60 life. Okay, we're looping. So this is turn five infinite life. Not the you know, not the most fast infinite life, but it is fast enough with the finger and marauder as well. And we're gonna crack for green. We have another mirror retriever. I'll just play weather the storm at this moment and pass. And now we're just going to try to dig for our uh, golem foundry. And they, they concede the infinite life. Thank you. Let's just do it again. Could be something to cutting maybe a bobble for a wellspring. Although the bobble gives us more options to draw early. The wellspring helps us draw through our deck to find the golem foundry and everything. And probably our colored sources need to be prioritized. So we'll keep it as is. We could also cut a bargain, but mm -hmm. I think it's let's see. So really this is draw two, this is a draw two. These synergize. I think it's fine. Okay, here we are. We've got colored sources, we've got grotto, we have mirror tree or foundry, terrarion. I'm gonna keep it. Grotto looking for land, play Terrarion. Turn two, Mirror Retriever. Turn three, Deadly Dispute. Look, and then try to assemble Tron and Fenger Marauder. In this position, we're looking for Weather the Storm over Marauder because we don't have fast Tron. Because if they turn three, us, we're going to be hosed again. They're always going to have Savage Swipe. Found a tower. So we're Grotto looking for a power plant or map. Play Terrarion. Place a river boa. Land. Map. Pass. Okay. 
I'm trying to think if this is going to be fast enough, though. They have four damage on the table. Maybe it'd be better to play the Mirror Tree, but I just don't want to expose it to a Savage Swipe and get, have them get extra life from it. Or extra power. Double Rancor. Six, seven, eight. So we could be dead next turn. Nettle Sentinel, untap Nettle Sentinel. Attack for eight. Okay. Power plant. We only have 8 mana. We can gain 10 life. 6, 7, 8. Play Chromatic Star. Hmm. I think I need to look for Weather the Storm. I don't think Fagan Marauder is going to be fast enough in this position. Crop Rotation would be, would be uh, good as well. There's the weather. Whew. That's scary. Um, play Chromatic Star. Dispute the Chromatic Star. And then play weather. So it's five, six, seven. A bunch more, uh, bunch more life. Well, exactly enough to weather now. I found the altar, so we're going to have infinite life combo on the next turn. Whew. So we're gaining 21. Oh, I guess we don't have to worry about infinite life because, oh no. Get rid of that, get rid of... I guess the Terrarion. Because we go 3, Foundry, 3, Altar, 2, Retriever, 2, Retriever, make infinite Golems, sacrifice the Golems, make mana, make play Fang and Marauder, make infinite life, and then draw a deck. So then we're good. Okay. Good thing we're on the play. So, Foundry. They only have one card in hand. I'm not expecting an instant speed uh, way to blow up our artifacts. And this does not have uh, unblockable because we're not playing islands. Mirror Retriever. Sacrifice the Retriever. Get back. We're going to get back a Chromatic Star. Play Mirror Retriever. Play Chromatic Star. Sacrifice the Mirror Retriever. Now we need to build up to 6 mana. 
So we need nine uh, go golem tokens, or golem counters. Make a golem. Make a golem. Make a golem. Sacrifice the golem. Sacrifice the golem. Sacrifice the golem. Green. Zeal. Play Fang and Marauder. Do, 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 do. Alter this. Oh no! Oh no! Oops. Well, I screwed up. I clicked wrong. Dang it! <laughs> Green. Luckily, we have the weather, the storm here. So, do I crop rotation? <clears throat> crop this. Get tower. Tap tower. Bobble. Get back deadly dispute. Bargain. Green. Can't believe I did that. Weather the storm. Okay, we have a bunch of life again. But we're not out of the woods. That was just a kind of an unfortunate event where I misclicked. <clears throat> again, that would be a spot where it's much easier in paper. You just say, okay, I have infinite everything. Oh, man. Dang. Okay. They kill my enchantments. Or my artifacts. Darn. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we're in for the long haul now. I think we took out one foundry already, right? And we don't have the frantic salvage, and we don't have the golem foundry. We don't have any ways to uh, kill their creatures. Oh, jeez. Swipes it. Okay. We can mirror retriever back the uh, golem foundry and then hopefully get to the spot. Okay, get an. I'm gonna get a grotto here. Play the grotto. Scry. Dispute's good. I'll tap. Let's wellspring. Can't believe we're gonna lose to a misclick. Black. Well, I can believe it, but I'm sad about it. Weather the storm. Like, cycle this. Chromatic star. Pass. Pass again. We have our finger router again. Play a rancor on the river boa. And they're just going to have another rancor, because this guy regenerates. But he doesn't untap as easily. Yeah, gets in. Green. Bang and Marauder. Play this for black. You think they'll get bored of my life gain and then eventually quit? <laughs> okay. Land. Bargain. Destroy this. Draw three. Always yes. Okay, we have another Fangin' Marauder. One, two, three, four, five. So we can't cast it right now. Alright, no attack. No, uh, we obviously can't attack because it just came into play. And it's going to be their turn. So we have one more altar in the deck. And Sabotage is a sorcery, so we have to get to the point where we draw two Mirror Retrievers and one Altar. Play the Mirror Retriever, Alter it, get back Foundry. Play the Mirror play the Foundry, play the Mirror Retriever, loop the Mirror Retrievers, make a bunch of Golems, and then attack. 
and since we don't have set since we don't have uh, frantic salvage in the deck we have to make sure that we always bobble the bobble so we keep the bottom three cards just as bobbles because otherwise we'll deck out beginning combat are they going to attack I do sure no blocks do you have a uh, querion you're gonna let me start attacking I will happily start attacking. Okay, they take five. Green. My finger marauder. Play an Urza's mind. So I'm gonna play Terrarion. Pass. So now we have ten power. Two cards in hand. Okay, one card in hand. And they decide not to attack at this point. So we have a mirror retriever. And that can get back the golem foundry. But it's not super useful. I'm gonna crack for green black. If we draw into a dispute effect, we can dispute and get back the Golem Foundry. Just misclicking. Misclicking causing extra time and we'll try to get dig our way out of this hole. Alright, we just draw into a mine, so I'll play the mine and I'm gonna pass. I don't really want to expose the mirror retriever to an exile effect. I don't know what exile effect they could have, but I'm just going to not expose it. No attacks. Your turn, opponent. Burning tree. Alright, your Emissary comes in, gets a trigger, and then our opponent is, um, seems to be either lagging or just taking their time, because it took like a minute for that to resolve. So I'm just pausing in between. Okay, yep, you have played a spell. Crop rotation. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're just going to pass. I think I'll probably crop a swamp and then just get another tower. Just trying to thin the deck. And they realize that they may possibly win by decking me. So what do we have left? Three bargains and a dispute. Maps, altar, Conjure's bobble, one more mirror retriever. All right. Bargain. So let's play mirror retriever. Bargain the retriever, get golem foundry. And then we just have to wait until our turn when we assemble the combo, make a bunch of tokens, and then not misclick. <laughs> Bargain. Draw some cards. Get back to the Golem Foundry. Get our auto yields on. There's the Foundry in hand. Play the bobble. Get the other bobble, which is here. Play 
play expedition map. Crack the map. We'll go ahead and get that power plant. Play the power plant. And pass. I think I'm just going to F6. So by sacrificing the map, now the bobbles are not on the bottom of the library. They're pretty much anywhere. So it's just a free, basically a cycle. So we're still looking for altar and one more mirror retriever, and then we have infinite golems. But can we assemble infinite golems before our opponent times out? I'm not sure. And they do not attack again. Wellspring. So we found the bargain. So we have three more draw twos in the deck. There's the altar. Tower. Pass. Alright, just the mirror retriever and we have the combo. They also could have Weather the Storm in their deck. And if they do, we have to be aware of that, because we're going to have to leave a couple of turns for attacking. I think here I'm going to get back one of the Mirror Retrievers. No, I'm just going to get back a Bobble. Just... I don't think it matters. Okay, we bargain the Wellspring. Go to a million billion life. Draw two cards. Okay, play out the map. Crack it. Get the last land out of the deck. Play that land, play the power plant. Bobble. Get back Bobble. So we do it again. Still have six cards in the library. Okay, one more time. Should have left the salvage in. If I'd left the salvage in, this would be a lot easier. But, you know, I wanted to have enough life to not die. Okay. Golem Foundry. Okay, let's not screw this up this time. Astronaut's Altar. Always yes. Retriever. Sack the Retriever. Get back. Retriever. Play Retriever. Okay, so we're going to loop. Get back. This Retriever. Should I make this bigger so I don't misclick? Play me Retriever. Okay, so how many golems do we think we need? Well, what happened? So they are F6, it looks like. I think I'm going to have to sacrifice my Rangan Marauders because it's costing so much time. But I need them for damage output. Okay, I'm clicking, pressing OK. It's weird how it keeps flipping back and forth. This right here. Clicking like crazy. Okay, the stress. Let 
Please, no weather the storm. Mirror retriever. Trying to get to 30. Six minutes. Clicking. You can hear my frantic clicking. Okay. Feel free to skip ahead. You'll know. Trying to get to 30 uh, golems. Or 30 so that there's 10 golems. I think even if they blow up all of our stuff, we could still probably get it all back with the um, conjurer's baubles and stuff. I just don't know if we'd have enough time to attack with it. 18. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. I think I'm going to have to give up at four minutes. And three. Four. Okay, that's fine. F six. <sighs> okay, that's what I expected. But they did not have any weather the storm. So all we have to do is attack a couple times. They can't block everything and then they can't block everything again. It's all good. Oops, I should let them uh, put the conspire on the stack. Blow that up. Okay. Come on, opponent. We're so close. <laughs> Just let us... Let us do stuff. <laughs> okay, conspire. Probably the altar. Okay. I just don't have time to make more. And this is entirely my fault for uh, misclicking earlier in this game. <laughs> okay, you'll do this turn. We have 8, 9, 10 attackers. They only have 4 blockers. So we only need 5 to get through. And that means that we're going to kill them on their next turn. Or our next turn. I don't think there's a way out of it for them. Unless they would have had to have weather the storm and they don't. So we'll just wait until they pass, or I guess until they just let themselves time out. They decide to go after, oh, they can double conspire? Oh, so they kill one of our tokens, but they lose a blocker that way. Oh, they just had another gleeful sabotage. Okay. Kills the retriever. We'll just get back my retriever. So 
So this is uh, three of their sabotages in the deck. <laughs> Pretty crazy. This green deck with no uh, card selection has drawn all three, potentially all four of their gleeful sabotages. I guess we've uh, given them 14 turns to do it, but they couldn't shuffle one of them to the bottom? Mirror Retriever. Always yes. And then Magic Online uh, got freaked out by the Fang Marauders and they undid all the stuff. It's kind of weird that they would kill the Mirror Retriever here because killing this puts less power on the table. Yeah, they're just going to let themselves time out. That's fine. No, okay, hunger. I thought they had another, another, uh, what's his face? Another gleeful. I would have been like, what? Okay. They have 10, they have 11 power. And we have nine attackers. We only need five to get through. So they're officially dead on our swing back. 10 seconds left, and they're going to time out. But we would have won the game. So we would have won the game much, much, much earlier. Oh, well. And it looks like we're going to close our league at 4-1. and one. Dun, dun, dun. We got there. All right. Okay, so this list, you, I think it's, I think it's pretty good. The only questionable things that I have are this Reckoner's Bargain, and then potentially maybe one of the Wellsprings. Not really sure, but sometimes we wanted to get out of the ahead a little bit earlier, and we ended up losing to Mono Red that had a very very fast draw and went super wide. So our we I think we mulliganed there, but I forget. I think that this kind of Tron is like well set up. Now the difference between this again and our eggs list is that the eggs list has twelve one drops, actually sixteen one drops to start going, which means that you can weather the storm very very early for a lot, and then as soon as you have Foundry Inspector in play, you can f play things for free and weather the storm even easier. I think this list runs a little bit smoother but it suffers in paper because you have so many things that you're trying to cast and sacrifice and keeping track of storm at that point is extremely frustrating if anybody has tips on how to play this in a successful time management strategy i would appreciate that so just hit me up otherwise it looks like if you want to be playing quickly in paper and you want to play a super fat super awesome combo tron deck i would probably play this because, as you saw, we had turn 4 and turn 5 kills, where we just go infinite and win the game. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, keep Tron comboing. Have a good one.